Hi, in this video we'll see how we can create a single part drawing in Tecla structure using OpenAPI. So I'm here in, um, in Visual Studio, so let's create a new project, console application. So we're using .NET framework. So we need to install a NuGet package. So you need to go to nuget.org and search Tecla Open API and select the version you are using. I'm using currently 2021. 20, so I copy this package manager, come back to Visual Studio, go to Tools, NuGet Package Manager package manager console and paste it over here press enter so tecla structure nuget package will be installed Let's take real system using statement. So creating a single part drawing is very easy and straightforward in Tecla structures. So we need to say war single drawing equal new TST part drawing and it's ask uh, Tecla structure model identifier. So we need to get, get the part first which we want to create the drawing. So let's do beam equal new picker pick an object part give it a message Now we have part, so we can pass beam dot identifier and say single part drawing dot insert. We don't need to commit the changes in the model that will be automatically after inserted the drawing. So if I go in Tecla structures now, let's model one beam. I'm using a Tecla structure educational version. If you want to use this educational version, you need to create an account on Tecla campus website and then you will be able to download it. It's totally free and you can use for modeling and API. Let's run the numbering. Build application. Come on. There we go. So start the application. So it's asking, please pick a beam. So let's pick a beam. Let's open the 
document manager so here's the first drawing has been created so if I double click on this drawing let's see what's the result so here is our first single part drawing has been created but of course there is no layout and then build material stuff so we'll see in a minute so if we close that we can actually use the pre-saved setting in Tecla so if I load this single part properties and select the single steel single beam well actually we can see in the in the drawing itself if I double click on the background and load the single beam steel single beam properties and hit the modify button yes yes so this looks much more nice so let's use this setting to create our drawing it doesn't matter we need we will delete this drawing anyway if you save or not Let's delete this drawing, come back to the Visual Studio. So, single part drawing, if uh, I press F12, it has four overloaded versions. So we can pass attributes, file, or sheet, number, kind of stuff. So let's use the second one. So we can say we want to use these pre-saved attribute settings so let's run again our application come on go created a drawing if I load again right we can see uh, still there is no any layout and let's see why is that so if I go to layout well I can see the layout has been applied a for a3 but there is no drawing sized actually is selected so what we can do in our code to fix this let's delete this again this drawing we'll create again if i say single part drawing dot i believe that is size no that is layout dot size definition mode to auto size let's build our project build successfully run the project pick beam Here we go very easy simple way to crawl, create a drawing in Tecla similar approach you can use to create a assembly drawing if you want to see the example let me know and depending on your response I will go in the next video in more depth how you can create dimension or how you can add the part mark etc etc thank you very much see you again